What's going on, Nation? Today I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to perform a Jefferson squat. If you're looking for a way to target your glutes and quads a bit differently, this is the exercise for you. Now, although you're going to be putting a bit more emphasis on your quads, you're still targeting your glutes and hamstrings. And keep in mind that your calves, lower back, spine erectors, traps, and adductors are going to be working as stabilizers throughout the exercise as well. Also, it doesn't require a lot of weight to get a good rep out of this exercise. So if you want to hit it hard, try doing it at the end of your workout while you're already a bit fatigued. Begin the exercise by approaching the barbell and standing over it with your feet outside of shoulder width. Keep one foot pointing forward and one foot pointing out. Next, lower yourself to the ground keeping your chest up and grab the barbell with a switch grip. Once in place, lift the barbell off the ground by pushing through the heels of your feet. As soon as you reach the top of the movement, begin to lower the barbell back to the ground. Pay close attention to ensure that your knees don't cave in and that they stay in line with your toes. To maximize the exercise, try to alternate your stance over the barbell each set by switching which foot is facing forward and which foot points out. Both legs are being worked no matter what, but this will help to get rid of any possible instability or weakness on either side. If you have tight hips, you might notice that performing the exercise is a bit easier on one side when compared to the other. And what I mean by that is when you switch which arm is in front of your body. For me, when I have my left arm in front of my body, you'll notice that my left knee tracks over my left toes much more than when I was facing the other way. So basically what this tells me is that I do have some hip mobility that I need to work on. However, I can still perform the exercise and by focusing on proper form, this could also help me fix the issue. So there you guys have it. That's how you perform a Jefferson squat. If you have more questions about the exercise or if you'd like to add it to your routine on your SHF profile, click on the link above over here. For more great tips, exercises, and routines, Feel free to join us on scottherbanfitness.com. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. If you're looking for a quick way to switch things up, log into your SHF profile and go to the workout section of the website. Once there, click on the muscles you want to train, then you'll be brought to a page where you can further filter down your search. Now you have a complete list of all the routines that target your chest and utilize only a barbell or dumbbell. From here you can rate the routine, add it to your routines in your profile, and if you scroll down you can see a write up of the entire routine as well as photos of all the exercises. You can also download a printable PDF just by clicking on it.